Ah, the Sega CD. I loved mine. It was awesome. Now, Wikipedia tells me there were 143 games released for the Sega CD. However, only five of them were any good. And of those five, I would actually have to say that Sylphide is my favorite. Now, being a Sega CD game, there's one thing we have to see first. Ah, nostalgia. So, Sylphide. It's a uh, shoot 'em up game, kind of arcade style. It's very, it draws uh, similarities to Star Fox in that it uses kind of polygons for environments and things. Made by... And let's start off with a cutscene to get us all pumped up here. This is seriously one of the best looking and best sounding Sega CD games uh, that they made. Uh, to the point where you really don't want a guy like me talking over most of it. So I'm going to be trying to keep my commentary to a uh, minimum, just explaining certain important aspects. But really just uh, trying to sit back and let you enjoy the videos, as such as this other cutscene. Battle station, battle station, unidentified spacecraft inbound from Delta Line, Area 3. Number unknown, but increasing. Also, be squadron scramble immediately. Repeat, scramble now. Squadron 207, scramble now. Rendezvous with squadrons 279 and 333. Take position for intercept mission. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Okay, so I'm in the mood to shoot some guys. Who are we shooting and why? Don't know, don't care, doesn't matter. Uh, my wingmates and things are going to be talking a lot, so I'm just trying to get a couple words in here. You see we have a shield level on the right, we have six level of shields for now. Very simple weapons, we just hold this button shoot. Get things for power-ups, get points, points are good. That's all you need to know for now. first couple missiles you can't shoot down, but if you get lucky you actually can shoot down one or two of these missiles for points, which is good. But uh, guaranteed to have a couple missiles get through here. And they, uh, they obviously destroyed something behind us. The only thing back there was that lovely blue planet, which, oh. Well, they just blew up some planet there. Laser scratching is an awesome thing. That means you're going to be watching lots of polygons blow up and pew pew lasers going out. It's it's a wonderful thing. Uh, the only thing is you really kind of have to know where they're coming from to dodge them properly. Defense fleet destroyed. Still eight in action. 
But here you go, this is a taste of the gameplay, and for this first mission it's really very simple. That's a, This is a shield power-up, since I'm at full shields it just gave me a bonus points. Invincibility! And if you're invincible, why bother shooting? It's more fun to just smash into guys. And since you are invincible, they're not gonna bring, about <laughs> bring any enemies at you. Kind enough to tell you when it's about to end, and I screw it up anyway. You get repairs at the end of mission, or through up power-ups like you saw. There we go, full health. And get me some... Okay, the boss, look at the size, it's gonna be huge! Uh, oh, it's not really that huge. And it's not really that difficult either. I got hit, but it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna get repaired anyway. With six, uh, six shields, you can kind of tank a little bit of damage at first. If you lose all of your shields, you either lose your left or right weapon, or you lose an uh, engine, which slows you down. If you get hit again, you lose the other one, then hit one more time, then you die. So you really have to do bad to actually die. In the year of 3076, an unmanned solar space force fleet suddenly started to attack the colony planets. The Grison system, the central photon computer that integrates and controls the whole galaxy network on the mother planet, Earth, was network jacked by an unknown terrorist group. The leader of the terrorists solemnly introduced himself as Zakarte. The survivors of the Galaxy Union and the Colony Planet's fleet assembled all their forces to strike at Zakarte. Sixty-four light years lay across their way to the solar system. After drastic restructuring and the addition of reinforcements to the tactical fighter spacecraft, the SA-77 Silphid, their last resort, the remaining fleet began the counterattack. Their destination? The mother planet, Earth. It's way too difficult to actually render continents. Okay, well, if you like that, I'll uh, see you around for stage two.